Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry since last 22 years. Today, we'll discuss some global level data of automotive industry as well as automotive industry in India. As I have, you know, I have seen these big uh, giants of automobile industry there. I've visited many of their factories, like uh, I've visited uh, BMW factories, Mercedes uh, factories, Detroit uh, General Motor factories. And in India also I have visited you know, Tata Motor, uh, the Nano factories. So, so, there is a, so I'm always you know, this, uh, very much interested about this automotive industry. And this is one of the you know, major business sector in India as well as uh, most of the countries. Now, today I'll share some global level data and some national level data about automotive industry. If we talk about the world largest automobile or car producer, the Volkswagen is the number one, and second is the Toyota, and third is General Motor, and now fourth is Renault. If we see all together, this four company is manufacturing more than 50% of the automobile, you uh, know, there's a vehicle of the whole world, and rest 50% by rest of the you know brands. You can see here in 2017 data the total number of automotive you know, equipment or rather you can say car by all together trucks, light motor vehicles, heavy motor vehicles all together the number was 88 billion total sales in the whole world and you can see continent wise here you know this Eastern Europe uh, 4, Western Europe 16, North America 23 billion, South America 4 billion and Asia altogether 44 where most of the you know quantity is consumed by China even more than 60% of Asia uh, Pacific uh, consumption of automotive uh, vehicles here you can see you know, global car sales in million unit and percentage by 2017. Now, there is another sector in the, you know, this uh, car called this um, luxury car. There are a few brands only, they are uh, manufacturing this luxury car. Now, by Mercedes is taking the lead actually. Mercedes is number one in luxury car manufacturing and selling and for then BMW. Then Audi, Rolls Royce is there, but their quantities are very less actually. Now, if we, uh, you can see here in this uh, graph, uh, chart, the sales of global luxury car in 2016. So obviously Mercedes is number one and has market share for 11.3%. Second is BMW, third is Audi, fourth is Jaguar Land Rover, and five is Volvo car, and the sixth is Cadillac. So, these are the companies, Rolls Royce is obviously luxury car, but it, as quantity is less, so sales figure is very low actually. Now, if we consider this uh, price actually, you can see here the price of some indication because you know this uh, common car we are using, the common people are using maybe in Indian rupees 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 5 lakhs. So th this is the range actually, but BMW 7 series has got imported price of 84 lakhs. Audi A8 is 89 lakhs, Jaguar XF is 49 lakhs, Volkswagen Fiat is 76 lakhs, Mercedes A65 is 2.5 crore, and Rolls Royce Ghost is 2.5 crore. So this is the price, you know, range of this uh, imported uh, luxury car. Now there is one thing also interesting, very much actually, rather like which color of the car are very popular and how much percentage are people are using. Here you can see the white as per the 2016 global data actually. Like white is the highest percentage, 38% people in this world are using white car. And black is 16%, then silver is 12%, like that actually. And there is another thing like brand. Brand origin is also very important actually. Like for example in India, like there are... Uh, Many car companies, but you will, I'll, I'll come back with this data that there are uh, cases where people are very much interested about the origin of the brand and they decide to you know, buy the car accordingly. For example, here you can see this China origin uh, car is uh, in the whole world 33% manufacturing and US origin car are manufacturing 70%. It's not manufacturing in that country, but in different countries with the 
origin of that country, Japanese car uh, manufacturing in whole world 18% and European car 20%. Another thing is global brand strength of the car is very important. Here and today, you know, this, uh, that is a huge revolution is coming in this uh, automotive sector as I have uh, given a lot of presentation on it like Google car actually, like driverless car and all these things and Tesla car. So now, a brand strength wise, Google car has got the highest brand strength in this world, here you can say. And if we compare this, India, it comes in the third level actually. This in India, Tata Motor is obviously the largest manufacturer of the automobile, uh, the automotive uh, components, uh, automotive uh, like uh, vehicles, different vehicles of different ranges. So, so this is the actual status of the different brand strengths globally. And if we specifically go into Indian market, here you can see like Mahindra and Mahindra presently is 29 percent has got market share and Maruti has got which one once on a time in 19th century maybe uh, 80 90 percent market share so now Maruti has got presently 24 percent market share now Honda has increased market share with 13 percent and Toyota has got 12 percent market share in India Ford has got 8 percent market share in India and the rest of the company all together has got 12 percent market share in Indian automotive sector here you can say in India, but if we divide India region as like north, south, east, west, you will find this, there are a lot of manufacturers. Like in eastern part is only major manufacturer that is Tata Motor. Though Tata Motor also has got I know, manufacturing in the western part that is the Tata Motor Pune. But in western part there are companies like uh, Fiat, you know, Force Moto, and many other Volkswagen, a lot of other companies. In, in a south, uh, south you will find this uh, Toyota. You will find this, you know. Uh, Volvo and many other uh, companies. Now there is one more interesting data also like if we this is the data of Indian uh, 2016 Indian automotive uh, sector like sales like different category while well, which type of you know this uh, automobile uh, are selling but uh, no the more number or less number so you can see here in this picture like SUV car that is uh, sold highest number that is 29% car sold is SUV category then 18% by C category and B category and pickup van this type of uh, car uh, you know light motor vehicle basically 6% and sports car are 0.7% now interestingly like best selling car in India is few of the uh, if I say that so it's basically la, like different you know global brands are getting money more and more popular in India like Volkswagen has got the highest popularity and then followed by Ford, Skoda so these are the brands actually day by day getting more popular in India and coming into fast 20 you know this uh, uh, popular this uh, car is uh, Maruti is not there, Tata Motor is not there and you can see here in this picture, like automobile, you know, the uh, market opportunity in the China is, you know, automobile is a, is a huge market. European market is obviously big and US market is also very big. But Indian automotive market is still there is a huge opportunity to grow. There is a very, uh, uh, now that you can see here in this graph, this is uh, for India and this is the yellow card is for China. So China is, you know, uh, developing like anything in the automobile sector. <coughs> You can see here in this picture, there is a projection of um, 2019. What will be the total quantity of production of you know this uh, or, uh, automo or in automotive industry that is one one six million actually, where China is the majority quantity, and obviously India is not so you know aggressive quantity actually. You can say here in this uh, graph. Now this most interesting and important point is. Like India has got the highest percentage growth of automobile industry that is 7.64% followed by UK 6.2% then France then China then Germany. Now there are companies like the who were using automobile for years back actually decades back rather you can say like US and all those companies and Japan. So in there the market is got saturated actually. So in India is now the biggest market for selling automobile. Uh, you know this uh, uh, automobile sector is that you can say the maximum growth in this whole world so if you find this presentation is uh, you know informative you can share with your friends you can subscribe this YouTube video channel so that you can get a lot of other uh, upcoming presentation thank you very much for listening